Hello Super Set Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. Flex Lewis on the 2020 Mr. Olympia stage was very anticipated by most of the bodybuilding fans. Having the man who dominated the 212 division for 7 straight years, finally making the move to men's open division to measure up with the big boys. In 2018 he won the 212 Olympia for the 7th consecutive time. He skipped the 2019 Olympia to prepare better and he was going to debut in the men's open division in 2020, but a shoulder injury kept that from happening. What I have in store for you guys in this video is Flex Lewis with his 2018 physique on the 2020 Olympia stage against the top 3 finishers Big Rami, Brandon Curry and Phil Heath and moreover I even have the photoshopped enhanced version of Flex trying to anticipate how he would look without a weight cap like in 212. First pose is the front double biceps. We have Phil Heath, Big Rami and Brandon Kerr in the first callout, joined by Flex Lewis, who is replacing Hardy Chupan in this respective callout. We all know Flex is a shorter guy, but during posing he usually has this approach, not leaning too much down from uh, his knees, so he would look almost as tall as the other guys, who are obviously taller than him. Flex is uh, very complete, but I believe he needs more mass to be able to go against these guys. Something similar to this maybe. He's got some bigger guns, lats and quads. And in my opinion, he would battle with Big Rami for this pose if he looked like this. Having bigger and better wheels than Brandon and a better V taper and midsection than Phil. But do I believe he would beat Rami? Well... The size difference may be too much, so if Rami really nails the conditioning like he did here, he is pretty hard to beat, especially by a much smaller guy like Flex Lewis. Next pose is the front lat spread. This is 2018 Olympia Flex without any photoshop work and I have to tell you that it's pretty difficult for him to go against Rami and Brandon in this pose. For the same reason it's difficult for Phil his narrowness and blocky midsection. Even the enhanced version wouldn't be enough in my opinion, in spite of really dominating Brandon downstairs. So Flex Lewis would battle Phil for that third spot in this pose and would win it. The side chest is a really powerful pose for Flex Lewis, being very thick through the chest and arms and also having a great side leg as well. But yet again, his uh, 212 version is too small to go against these guys in my eyes. But the enhanced version comes with a different story. I think he would uh, battle Rami and Brandon for this pose. I'm counting uh, Phil out here because in 2020, or at least in this particular callout, his arms are overpowering his chest more than ever and throws away the balance this pose should have in my opinion. As for Brandon, he is already transi transitioning out from the pose in this shot, in this uh, hua pose, like uh, Marx Max Muscle would say, but we all know Brandon has a strong side chest pose. As a conclusion for this pose, I think Big Rami is hard to beat here and would probably win it against Flex Lewis as well. And we turn to the back for the back double and in my opinion at the 2020 Olympia Phil Heath still won the back poses hands down even though he was clearly weaker than in 2018. I don't know how the judges are seeing this one but for me Rami is lacking the lower half of his back and Brandon even though he's got a powerful back overall his wheels are too much of a weakness here to win anything. Flex Lewis on the other hand is very powerful from the back and he would have a battled feel for the back poses in my opinion. This is the enhanced version and I still think he would need more thickness through the back especially in the lower back region to go against Phil. Something that might just be impossible regardless of how much effort and training he puts into it. This really being more about genetics. In the rear lat spread however, I think we have a different story. 
First of all, big Rami can be in the, in the discussion of winning this pose, having the bigger bag by far, which has to count for something. But I still prefer Phil, who's got a camera angle disadvantage as well in these shots. So yet again, this is between Phil and Flex Lewis, and especially in this enhanced uh, version of Flex. I think Flex Lewis has the upper hand. If this was a real lineup and I would be a judge, my point would go to him. Next is the side triceps and first of all, this is not the best photo for any of uh, Phil Rami or Brandon for this pose, but unfortunately for this specific callout I decided to edit, this is the only photo in this pose. Ironically, we don't have the best shot for flex either, but at least we can make an idea. Usually if Phil Heath uh, keeps his stomach in check, he wins this pose in my opinion. Brandon and Rami are uh, tough opponents as well. Brandon is very complete in the side poses, even his wheels look more than uh, decent. Rami has the crazy side leg which has to count for something while having the weakest tricep. Flex Lewis is the most complete, having strong arms, meaning uh, strong triceps as well, great legs, so no noticeable weaknesses overall. So he may win this pose as well. Abs and thighs and in the men's open contests, uh, Big Rami is pretty hard to beat, having those crazy thighs, a decent set of abs and a great V taper due to his wide frame. Brandon is very aesthetic but his let, legs uh, let uh, him down big time again. Phil is obviously last place here. What can an improved version of Flex Lewis do here? If Big Rami is conditioned as he was in 2020, Flex Lewis can only hope at second place in my opinion. Big Rami has not the most aesthetic look, but he doesn't need it to. He doesn't need to. This is a men's open division, he is the most muscular guy in this pose without noticeable weaknesses, so this seals the deal for me. Last pose is the most muscular, it's tough for Flex Lewis to go against these guys in this pose with his 212 physique, but an improved version of himself can be in the conversation of winning this pose, as he as well has all the necessary tools to have a great most muscular pose. Great arms and delts, great chest, overall thickness and conditioning. Yet again, it's pretty difficult to beat a sharp uh, big Rami in this pose unless Phil Heath uh, fixes uh, the midsection and somehow steps up uh, his chest at least to the level of uh, his previous years. So my money would uh, be on big Rami again in this pose. Overall, as a conclusion, Flex Lewis won the rear lat spread and maybe the side triceps in this comparison. He's also in the conversation of winning maybe a couple of more poses, but as a final thought for a smaller guy like Flex Lewis, regardless of uh, how big and sharp he comes in, he comes in, it's pretty difficult to go against a conditioned big Rami. We saw this in the past with uh, Dexter and William Bonac who are also smaller guys that uh, usually nail the condition. They beat Big Rami when he's off, but if Big Rami nails the conditioning, it's game over. Size matters in bodybuilding more than some people want to admit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did. Also let me know down in the comment section what do you think about this comparison and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys and see you next time.